Missing masterpieces, multiple aliases, stolen and unfinished painting are some of the unanswered questions still on the air about one of the most famous artists of the 20th century. Hi everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we have a captivating topic for you. We'll be diving into the intriguing life and mystery surrounding the legendary artist, Pablo Picasso. Picasso's artistic genius is well known, but there are many mysteries that still surround his life. In this video, we will explore his journey, his famous works, and some of the enigmas that continue to intrigue art enthusiasts to this day. So, let's get started. Before we deep dive on these intrigued questions, let us talk first about his early life. Pablo Picasso, whose full name was a mouthful, was born on October 25, 1881, in Malaga, Spain. His parents were Jose Ruiz and Blosco and Maria Picasso and Lopez. His father, Jose, was an art teacher, and his mother, Maria, came from a family of intellectuals. This creative and nurturing environment would prove instrumental in young Picasso's life. Picasso's artistic journey began at a very early age when he started to show remarkable talent for drawing. Even as a child, his artistic abilities were evident to his family and teachers. His father recognized his potential and began providing guidance and encouragement. At the age of seven, Picasso started receiving formal art training from his father, who was a professor at the local school of fine art in La Corue. By the age of 13, he had surpassed his father in artistic skills and was admitted to the prestigious Royal Academy of San Fernando in Madrid. In 1895, Picasso's family made a significant move to Barcelona, which was a thriving artistic and cultural center at the time. The city had a profound impact on his artistic development, as he immersed himself in its vibrant art scene, encountering various styles and ideas. During his teenage years, Picasso created a variety of works that reflected his evolving style. He drew inspiration from Spanish masters like Velázquez and Goya, as well as broader European art movements of the era. In 1900, at the age of 19, Picasso held his first exhibition at Els Quatre Gats, a famous cafe in Barcelona. This marked the beginning of his career as a professional artist and gained him recognition within the local art community. The Blue and Rose Periods The Blue Period, spanning from 1901 to 1904, is characterized by a melancholic and introspective color palette, dominated by shades of blue and blue-green. Picasso's works during this phase often portrayed themes of destitution, solitude, and sorrow. It was a reflection of both his personal struggles and his response to the social hardships he observed. Picasso's blue period was shaped by various factors, including his exposure to the poverty and adversity prevalent in Barcelona, his city of residence. Furthermore, the tragic suicide of his close friend, Carlos Casagemas, deeply affected Picasso's emotional state and found expression in his art. Now, fast forward to 1904. Picasso began to emerge from the depths of his Blue Period and embarked on what is famously known as the Rose Period. The Rose Period, spanning from 1904 to 1906, witnessed a shift in Picasso's palette, transitioning from the cool blues to warmer, more vibrant tones of pink and rose. During the Rose Period, Picasso's canvases exuded a more cheerful and romantic ambience. His subjects often revolved around harlequins, acrobats, and circus performers. These subjects symbolized the world of entertainment, love, and joy, signifying a brighter perspective on life. Picasso's transition from the Blue Period to the Rose Period was partly influenced by his changing circumstances. He had crossed paths with Fernand Olivier, a French artist and model who became both his muse and lover during this period. Fernand's presence infused Picasso's life with a sense of happiness and optimism, which undeniably spilled over into his art. Cubism The next pivotal period in Picasso's career was his exploration of Cubism. This era begins in the early 20th century when Picasso and his artistic collaborator Georges Braque embarked on a journey that would forever change the course of art history. Cubism emerged around 1907 and developed fully over the next decade. It's characterized by the fragmentation of subjects into geometric shapes and the simultaneous presentation of multiple perspectives within a single artwork. 
This marked a radical departure from traditional art, which sought to represent the world in a realistic manner. The Cubist movement can be divided into two main phases, with the first being analytical Cubism. During this period, Picasso and Braque broke down their subjects into smaller facets, creating complex, abstract compositions. These paintings required viewers to deconstruct and analyze the subject matter, challenging the conventional way of seeing and understanding art. The second phase of Cubism, known as Synthetic Cubism, emerged around 1912. In this period, Picasso and Braque introduced collage elements into their works. They incorporated real-world materials like newspaper clippings and other found objects into their paintings, blurring the line between art and everyday life. Picasso played a pivotal role in the development of Cubism. His innovative spirit and willingness to experiment pushed the boundaries of what art could be. His paintings like Les Demoiselles d'Avignon and Mar Jolie are prime examples of his Cubist exploration, where he shattered traditional forms and offered a new way of seeing the world. Mystery surrounding Picasso Multiple aliases Picasso is known by many names, but did you know he had over 45 different aliases? From Pablo Diego, Jose Francisco de Paula, Juan Nepomuceno, Maria de los Remedios, Cipriano de la Santa Trinidad, Marta Patricio Clito Ruiz, and Picasso to simply Pablo Picasso. His name evolved throughout his life. The question is, why so many names? Some speculate it was a playful expression of his personality, while others believe it was a deliberate attempt to confuse art dealers and tax collectors. The Missing Masterpieces Picasso's prolific output is legendary, with thousands of artworks attributed to him. However, several of his early works remain missing to this day. These missing masterpieces have sparked countless rumors and treasure hunts, leading art historians and collectors on a quest to uncover these hidden gems. The mystery of their whereabouts continues to intrigue art enthusiasts. The Stolen Picasso In 2012, a shocking theft took place in the Netherlands, where two valuable Picasso paintings, T.T. D'Arlequin and La Lecture, were stolen from a museum. Despite extensive investigations, the stolen works have not been recovered, leaving the art world baffled. The identity of the thieves and the fate of these priceless pieces remain a mystery. Picasso's unfinished painting Picasso was known for his relentless pursuit of perfection, often revising and reworking his artworks. But there's one painting, La Gameuse, that remains unfinished and has puzzled art historians. Why did Picasso leave this painting incomplete? Some speculate that he intentionally left it as is, while others believe it might hold hidden messages or secrets waiting to be deciphered. The Identity of Dora Maar Picasso had many muses, but one of the most famous was Dora Maar, a talented artist and photographer. Yet, much about her remains a mystery. Questions persist about the true nature of their relationship and the extent of her influence on Picasso's work. The enigma surrounding Dora Maar adds depth to Picasso's complex personal life. Pablo Picasso's life and work are filled with mysteries, from his ever-changing names to missing masterpieces, stolen paintings, unfinished works, and the intriguing figures who influenced him. These mysteries keep the legacy of Picasso alive, sparking our curiosity and imagination. If you found these Picasso mysteries as fascinating as we do, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and share your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the intriguing world of Picasso, and stay tuned for more art explorations in our upcoming videos.